Hi, my name's Amy Lopez and I'm co-founder of Delo Hairdressing in Guildford. I'm, I'm technical director of Delo Hairdressing and I'm head of education and just recently taken the role of technical director of Yellow UK. My husband is also working with me. He's now creative director of Yellow UK, so we're working very closely together. I love everything about my job, to be honest. The most that I enjoy is probably the education. I love to educate and I love to learn more myself. If he's to watch this, him. The wine fits me. <laughs> Tone on Tone Creator has been the magic potion of the salon. It has been amazing. Um, I use a lot of, I use it every day on most of my clients. Our job has got so much more simpler since having Tone on Tone Creator. Is my 10.21 mixed with my 9.2 with Tone on Tone Creator because I do a lot of blondes that like to look cooler, but to have that slight hue, and I've been using a lot of the 9.2 with my Tone On Tone Creator, and it's amazing. So Rebecca wants to see more of a lightener working through her ends today, and also seeing a bit more of a, an internal depth. So we're gonna work through with a base working on her regrowth area and then through her ends using the pre-lightener we're going to use the mazy technique just so that we can over direct some, some areas so that we can keep the dark framing the face still so that it adds some depth around the face. Okay so start by taking your triangular section on the top of the head working back creating your point into the crown and creating your triangular sections through the sides from the crown just behind the back of the ear. And then continue to repeat the section on the other side from the point of the crown to just behind the back of the ear. So now you want to create a triangular section that's coming into the occipital bone at the back. Creating your first triangle at the back from using the top of the crown, working through each occipital. Coming through, creating your triangular section. And working through to the same section, the other side. And then the last section is the base of the nape. Forward for me. So then you've got your one, two, three, tri four triangles at the back. One, two, three sections, creating four triangles at the back. Okay, so I'm gonna start by applying the root color to all the sections. We're going to overlap slightly just so that when the bands go in and we put the pre-lightener through to the ends we can smudge the two colours together. When you're putting your bands through, depending on how much regrowth you want to see and how much of the darker area you want to create, depends on where you'd put your... Make sure the band's really tight through and make sure that you've got some of that colour seeping through so that you can get that soft blend. Okay, and we're gonna continue the same on the other side. So now we've finished the sides and the back section, we're on our last section at the very top. I want to create a little bit of root through that front, so we're gonna over direct it very, very slightly back.
So working with very small sections now, so I'm taking sections of this size, I'm applying the bleach through, really saturating the hair, and then back combing into that band, really push that band just to get that soft blend. It's important to back home it into the band, otherwise you're going to create banding where there's areas that don't have any colour, and at least by doing this you're creating a soft blend from root to end. So I've finished all the other triangular sections, so all we need to do now is do this very top section. So I'm just carrying on with the same saturation with the same sectioning pattern as we've used on the other triangular sections. Rinse thoroughly and then tone. I have now completed Rebecca's technique. I'm going to leave her with my husband, our creative director. Okay, so this is the final result for the Maisie technique that we've used on Rebecca today. So you can see we've got a very soft root stretch from over-directing those bands in the hair. And then you've got the pre-lighter that's worked really nicely using the seven levels so we haven't achieved too much of a lighter blonde, so we kept it really commercial, creating that more pearly finish. <laughs>